What is actually data science and uh, what is big data that you talk about? Okay, so um, there's um, sort of transformation going on in the world today. So um, as the computational technology has advanced over time, um, so has the abundance of data that's being collected or contributed and you see this on the web. Uh, you also see this with smartphones, the collection of data through mobile phones. Um, and you see it with um, the use of advanced sensors, which uh, may gather data from the environment uh, over time. Um, so as this happens, uh, the, the society is undergoing a dramatic change from a data poor environment to a data rich environment. In every field today, um, in both in scientific, business applications, um, even in daily life, uh, we see that there is a huge amount of data that can play a big role in um, how we carry out our business. Uh, so let's take some examples. Let's take uh, the current election that's going on. Um, there's huge quantities of, of data generated every day by the news organizations. And if we look over the past year, we would see we would have um, just huge quantities of articles that have been written about the election. If we look online at social, me social media, there's large amounts of commentary, informal, by everyday people in the world about what's going on. Uh, if we look at the polls taken, uh, there are hard numbers in each of the states about how people feel towards the candidates. So we can use this data, we can analyze it automatically um, to see, for example, how events in the world change people's attitudes towards candidates. So, for example, when we had the Libya attack, that's an event that we saw in the newspaper, what happened to what people were saying about the candidates on social media at that point in time. Uh, let's take the environment. Um, we have sensors monitoring the environment. Uh, for example, around the city, we have green roofs that have been put in place and we have sensors that every day collect data on um, how air quality is changing, how that might correlate to changes in the weather or other events uh, that take place. So data science would be looking at this large stream of data that comes in on an hourly basis every day. Um, to determine what, the, what has had a bigger impact on air quality and whether uh, how, how much the green roofs um, help. Uh, let's take health. In almost every field of disease, we have longitudinal records um, on very large quantities of patients who have similar diagnoses. So now, most hospitals, and certainly Columbia's uh, hospital, um, has online pa patient records. Some elements of the patient record have structured data. Uh, for example, vital signs. Um, this is in the form of a database, numeric data. And vital signs when patients in the hospital are taken continuously. So it's a continuous stream of, of data. Uh, some of the data is text, so we have doctor's notes, and we have huge quantities of doctor's notes. There are many doctors who examine a patient multiple times a day. And some of these are images, so we have x-rays that may have been taken over time. And x-rays themselves are, uh, represent a large quantity of data, e even in a single image, and yet you have multiple of them taken over many, many days. Um, so one of the things that data scientists do is study this data as it unfolds over time, looking at, um, we look at repeat entries into the hospital, um, the kinds of diagnoses that, that people were given at this point in time um, to understand the progression of disease and what might be the causes and therefore what we can learn about how to treat patients better. Thank you. Can, can I have something? Sure. I think there's a, a, a transformation going on 
you know, in, in, in the past, science, you know, science is, uh, is uh, this, you know, basically its main goal is to determine laws of nature, right? That was what it was the, the traditional idea of science, um, so that you could predict things that, that would happen. You would understand and also be able to predict. With complex systems, and especially things like how a city behaves, you know, the human body, the human mind, et cetera, uh, it's, you know, it's not easy to write down F equals MA or, or Ohm's law or whatever. It, it's not, the laws don't, you know, the, the, the system is so complex, it's very hard to write it down. And with this explosion of, of data, uh, one of the fundamental things that's done by data scientists, by, especially the people in, in areas like machine learning, there's an attempt to um, basically extract pre pre predictive ability from the data. You might not have a law. You might not have a simple equation or a simple differential equation to predict the motion of, of let's say, an object being fired from a, you know, as a, traject as a projectile. But you, you will be able to make predictive statements about things from data. And that's a, a whole new paradigm. So we're, we're, we're undergoing a, a change in, in the way we do science and, and engineering and build things to, to take advantage of, of this, this knowledge. Uh, so I, I just want to point out that the world is really changing. Yeah, the idea is really to extract uh, meaning from data, transform it. So you start off with raw bits, extract meaning, transform it into information and knowledge, which then can be used in innovative solutions.